My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted human being. When people go to Narcotics Anonymous or Alcoholics Anonymous, one of the first things they encourage you to do is admit to yourself, your God, and another human being that your life has become unmanageable because of the use of alcohol or other substances. In my case, my life is unmanageable without the use of medications due to the panic attacks and the anxiety and uh, the terminal uh, insomnia and uh, agoraphobia and uh, all the other stuff. Granted, the medications I must take are not uh, my choice. They're not the, the perfect solution to the neurological, physiological, emotional, and biological problems I have. However, they do mitigate those problems and allow me to function in the outside world on a level that uh, is uh, almost acceptable to others and almost gets things done. Life management skills are important. Um, I just thought I'd say that because I'm experiencing, you know, a high level of anxiety attacks, panic attacks, some of them brought on with a loud high frequency ringing in my ears, and others just the result of post-traumatic or ongoing traumatic stress. It's hard to determine which at times, but uh, nonetheless, the affective experience for me is uh, very uncomfortable, very frightening, very confusing, very difficult to manage. And, uh, so, unfortunately, I have to turn to, or fortunately, I'm able to turn to uh, prescribed medications. Now, I realize there's always a trade-off when one seeks the course of psychiatric intervention. To understand what they're getting into, what they're saying, the results that it will bring, and the types of medications used, what they're for, what they're going to do to you, etc., etc., etc. And uh, you know, having been in treatment for over 30 years, uh, although frequently not appropriately, well, anyway, nonetheless, I'm babbling. I just wanted to say that because there are times when uh, taking the right dosage is difficult because uh, I'm not the type that takes it as prescribed. I would rather take it PRN as needed. Therefore, I can take as little as possible, reducing the chance of, well, not the chance, but the difficulty of ever getting off this medication if I decide I am able to. Choice one has to make. Can you manage the symptoms without it? Or are the symptoms too great and debilitating that you need it in order to function in the outside world? Because there's demands made on us, regardless of how how tormented and tortured and sick and targeted and everything else we are. Most people don't understand it, they don't believe it, and uh, we still have to function in the outside world, so... Um, it's just that some things have a longer half-life than others and, you know, I have to be very careful with the dosing where I end up falling asleep or, you know, then of course there's the times when I need to fall asleep so I have to take the sleeping medication. It's, it's, it's really not the best of choices, however, I've tried the natural roots, I've tried the do nothing, take nothing and suffer through it for years and uh, you can see the toll it's taken on me. So. Just thought I'd share that with the world. There's nothing wrong with medication if it helps you and if it's used appropriately. That's all. Thank you for watching and God bless you all.